I want to update anyone that might be traveling to Vietnam about the typhoon that has recently hit Hanoi in northern Vietnam. So on September 7th, Super Typhoon Yagi ripped through Hanoi and most of northern Vietnam causing massive damage in the entire area. So tourism is going to be affected heavily while they're rebuilding and clearing all the debris. There's been thousands of fallen trees, rivers are overflowing their banks, there's been massive landslides up in the mountains, there's even been a big bridge that collapsed with cars on it. Up until now, there's been at least 60 deaths, something like this. So this is a pretty big deal. It's going to be pretty dangerous for a while. So if you're traveling soon, I think you should avoid this area if at all possible. As of September 10th, Hanoi has opened the airport. So it's possible to travel into Hanoi now. But in my opinion, you should try to hold off for a while. Ha Long Bay has also opened boat tours up again, but this entire area is gonna be so messy for a while, I don't think it's gonna be the experience that you were hoping for. Further north up in the mountains, areas like Sapa, Ban Zhaup Waterfall in Khao Bang, driving the Ha Zang Loop, all of these areas are highly affected and I think you're gonna to wanna to wait at least a few weeks before attempting to visit these places. As far as I know, buses and trains are not running to these places, so travel is pretty much impossible. I'm hearing that Ning Bing, which is another popular tourist area, was not highly affected. So this will be a good option if you're already in Hanoi or you can't really change your travel plans. Also, there's an area called Pu Luang, which is a few hours west of Hanoi. This seems to be in pretty good shape. This is a good alternative to Sapa. It has the same kind of landscape, the rice terraces and the mountains, and it's actually an even better place to visit in my opinion. The weather in Vietnam can be pretty crazy and unpredictable. I lived in Hanoi for four years and you'll get a big storm here and there, but nothing like this ever happened while I lived there. I think that they're saying this is the biggest storm to ever hit northern Vietnam. It's almost rainy season here in Da Nang and it's pretty common for a few weaker typhoons to hit central Vietnam in the later part of the year, but it's not common for typhoons to go inland and hit northern Vietnam the way this one has. So this is a pretty tricky situation because they're going to try to reopen tourism as quickly as possible. So there's a lot of people whose livelihood depends on foreign tourists coming in. But again, I have to recommend avoiding it for at least a few weeks because it's not gonna be a good experience for you as a visitor and it's possibly really dangerous. Vietnamese people are resilient though. Everyone's gonna come together and work on rebuilding as quickly as humanly possible. So I'm hoping they'll be back on their feet in a couple weeks. Now I have a strong connection to Hanoi in Northern Vietnam. It's the first place that I ever lived in Vietnam. I've had some of the best experiences of my life riding around in the remote villages in Northern Vietnam. These are good people that work hard every day of their life just to get by. So this event is gonna have a huge impact on a lot of people. If there's anyone that feels inclined to donate some money to help for the rebuild, I'm gonna link a charity in the description. It's called Blue Dragon in Hanoi. This is a charity that I know and trust. My rugby team in Hanoi has done a lot of work with them, fundraising. I know any money that they get they'll know how to put it to good use. Alternatively, if anyone wants to donate directly to me, I'll make sure 100% of anything that comes in gets to somebody that needs it. So Blue Dragon works specifically in Hanoi, but I really wanna find some way to get some money to the more remote regions and the countryside. I, I think they're gonna need a lot of help. So I'll link my Ko-Fi page down below any small amount is gonna go a long way. You can send a message saying that it's for the typhoon, but anything that comes in for the next couple of weeks, I'll make sure it's gonna to get to somebody that needs it. So for now, central Vietnam and southern Vietnam are pretty much unaffected. So if you're traveling now or traveling soon, don't worry, your trip's not gonna be ruined. There's plenty of options and plenty of places to see and do. Vietnam is a really tall, long country north to south. So this whole storm is really only affecting not even one third of the country. If you need help rearranging your travel plans because of this, if you need ideas where to go, what to see, send me a message, I'll help sort you out. Any questions at all, send me a message. I'll be back soon with a less depressing video and I'll see you in the next one, peace.